Uh, my name is Jack Wells. I'm the president of the Open ACC organization, and I'm here to give a few introductory remarks about our organization and our summit over the next two days. The Open ACC organization mission is to help researchers and the developer community advance science by expanding and ac the accelerated and parallel computing skills. We have three areas of focus and they're listed here. We're best known most likely for the stewardship of the Open ACC specification and our training and education events through the Open Hackathons consortium activity. But we're also active in ecosystem development and we see this topic growing in the future. So I'll say a few more words about this now. Open ACC organization as a collaboration of institutions from industry and higher education is celebrating 11 years of community service. We are a service organization, community-based. So there's a list of icons here at the bottom of the page of our membership. If you're interested in participating in our organization and its a variety of activities, please reach out. We have lots of opportunities for service. Just a bit about our organization. We have a very supportive board of directors, Duncan Poole, Thomas Schultes, Dan Jacobson, and Sunita Chandrasekharan. This is our board of directors, and they are responsible for the overall quality and uh, guidance and support of our consortium. The governance is through uh, corporate officers. I serve as president, Barbara Chapman, is the vice president, Guido Vukeland is secretary, and Yulia Levides is the treasurer. She's serving currently in that role on an interim basis as we search for our new treasurer. The uh, governance is also executed through a series of committees. Jeff Larkin and Joel Denny serve as a technical committee chair and co-chair respectively. Azumi Barker, is in charge of our public relations activity, and Yulia Levides is in charge of overall marketing and outreach. Again, back to our three pillars in ecosystem development. We are um, trying to support the interoperability of programming models for the developer and the scientist. On modern data center scale computing, it's very common that uh, programming models are composed um, not only one programming model is used, but several actually are often used. So we are concerned about improving the interoperability of these programming models, in general, moving the community forward to make things easier to use. Some specific activities in this category are regular contributions from OpenACC to the LLVM community and regular reports to the Fortran Standards uh, Committee. There's many possible ways that the ecosystem development can grow in the future as the uh, data center technologies continue to advance, new standards are being introduced, old standards need to be refreshed. So we're looking for opportunities to apply the collective lessons learned and bridge our gaps between the standard languages and uh, developing a roadmap for interoperability. One thing that our membership is very excited about is standard language parallelism, that is native parallelism built into standard languages like Fortran and C++. And we're looking for the way that OpenACC can support this activity in a variety of ways. So that's a hot topic. I'll say more about training and education on the next slide, but just this one comment here is that this is where our organization probably touches the largest number of people through uh, worldwide hackathons and boot camps. These are volunteer activities, very vibrant, perceived to be very helpful, very successful in the community. And we've effectively trained many people through the materials that have been developed and touched a lot of people's lives and advanced a lot of people's careers. And then of course, we have stewardship for the uh, developing and maintaining the open ACC specification introduced 11 years ago, still serving its role to make programming easier for scientists and developers. This is a slide highlighting the growth of our hackathon activity. It was founded in 2014 under the Open ACC umbrella, and it's continued to grow through recruiting new people to participate, new institutions to host, 
hackathons such that in 2022, we expect 30 hackathons worldwide. I think this activity has a very good reputation. It's community-based. People can contribute, give feedback. We can continue to improve the quality and impact in this way. For our summit that's occurring over the next two days, we have um, HPC and AI research highlights that will be presented and also results from our hackathon activities. The agenda consists of 12 talks and two keynotes and two tutorials, uh, which occurred yesterday and one panel discussion. And this is our basic agenda. Yesterday, we had these two tutorials, one on HPC simulation, which was an introduction to accelerated computing with open ACC and standard language parallelism. And in the afternoon, exploring neural network surrogate models with a mini weather application. Today, immediately following these opening remarks, we'll have a keynote talk from Dirk Pleiter discussing portability within the upcoming European exascale infrastructure. And then this will be followed by a series of research contributions from a variety of community leaders, including Mitsuhisha Sato from Riken, Phil Hasnip from University of York, Austin Harris from Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Elisabetta Bola from Lancaster University, and so on. So there's a very strong set of contributed presentations this afternoon. These were all peer reviewed, and these are the ones that were selected into our program. Tomorrow morning, we start a second day with our second keynote from Chris Maynard, having it all, can software be productive, performant, and portable? And then a set of additional topics that fill out the rest of the agenda. And at the end of the second day, we'll have a panel discussion on current and future approaches to parallel programming. But with that, I would say this concludes my opening remarks.